everybody, and welcome to another amazing episode of Straight Talk with Shay. On today's episode, we are going to dive a little bit deeper into one of my top three items to know before you go nonprofit organization. And today's topic is on board of directors. Why you ask? Because it's vital. Vital. One of the first things you need to have in your mind and be prepared to get together when you are going to um, step out and found a nonprofit organization. Um, the reason being is this family, a nonprofit board of, org, uh, board of directors are necessary at the very initiation of your organization. They will be identified on your articles of organization, and they will also need to be identified on your 501c3 documentation or application. So it is vital to choose the right people and to have an idea of who you're going to utilize as members of your board when you first step into um, navigating the nonprofit space. So let's talk about it. How do you choose the right people? Listen, you're going to have people that are so excited to join you on this journey, but you want to make sure you filter down and drill down to the right people that's going to be effective, efficient, and really help you push the vision of your organization. So here we go. Things to choose or to, yeah, things to help you choose your, or your board of directors. For one, make sure you're choosing people that can run with your vision, that are able to understand and have passion for this same pro purpose project that your organization is going to stand for, the mission and vision of your, your organization. They have to be passionate about what you're passionate about, and they have to be able to help you see this thing through. So passion is number one. Let them be passionate about your project and the purpose of your organization. Number two, make sure they are available. You have to have meetings. You're going to need to communicate. You're going to need to discuss everything about your organization. When it comes to a nonprofit organization, everything is determined by your board of directors. Everything. Everything. Do you hear me? Everything is determined by your board of directors. Unlike a for-profit entity, a nonprofit entity is not owned, it's governed. So there you go. You've got a, a governing body, which is your board of directors, and they help you decide on everything. How much you get paid? Let's take it to a vote with the board of directors. How you spend your finances when you get those grants? How does that money go out? Oh, we've got to sit down with the board of directors. So again, family, you have to make the right decision on your board of directors. Let's see. Anything else we can add to that? Oh, here's another thing. You want your board of directors to be people, people. You want them to be people that can do well and go out and, and mingle with other people. Because another big thing when it comes to nonprofit organization and our board members is we have to go out and network. We have to meet other people. We have to go out and speak on what we're doing and, and be able to foster good relationships. So be passionate. They have to be passionate. Your board has to be passionate. They have to be willing to carry the vision and be able to help you in that. They have to support you physically, emotionally, in person, via Zoom. It doesn't matter. They have to be available to assist you. And number three, they have to be good networkers and a people's person. That's all I got today, guys. So see me next time and we'll go a little deeper. On that other topic, I'm not going to tell you which one. I want you to come back so you can figure it out. If you have any questions, make sure you take a moment, put them in the comment box. If you haven't already, sign up to see that free Forced and Consultants webinar on how you can become an independent living facility owner and operator. Also, we've got something new going, the HRA, Housing Referral Agency. Take a moment, go to our website, sign up for that webinar. It's 15 minutes. Jump in, dive in, make a stamp in your community by helping the less fortunate. And that's by providing them with housing. Visit the Angela Denise Foundation's Teespring store. Mm -hmm. 
and get you a Gap Filler t-shirt or some Angela Denise Foundation apparel. And also check out our Walmart shopping cart. Whatever you purchase is distributed to my ILFs to help the ladies not have to go into their own pocket, but they can now have things around the house that they really need. We can supply a need through your assistance and your help. Again, family, it's always amazing hanging out with you. And I'll see you next time here on Straight Talk with Shay. Love you. Thank you.